This is a, a truly color art sound, FDC Edge Southern. We are taking a video about the operation of the FDC Edge Southern. First, we need to get the machine electric through. Here is the electric cable. We get the machine through by the electric cable. And second, we have to insert the probe in the right way. You need to put the face, the this side with four buttons up to 12 and insert it. Look, turn it clockwise to tighten it. Uh, if you want to uh, on insert this probe, you need to turn it on clockwise and then take it out. In the other side, you can see several poles. This is this is the USB port and the same. Now next, this is the DICOM 3.0. This is S video. Um, this is S video. This is the video port, and this is the VGA port. This button is the power off or power on of this machine. We can press the button. Now the machine is uh, opening automatically. And we also can knock this machine by press this button. So the machine is located in this position. You can this machine this machine can be moved. Now let's learn more about the controller panel. This is the controller panel. You see here is the probe works, I mean probe holder. We can support the three probes to hold here and this is the tray holder. This is the standard PC keyboard to input the word or letters here and this is the TGC. Normally we move the TGC to attract the game. First, this is the near uh, the TGC. We move it to change the game in the near field. And this is for middle field. This is for far field. Normally we put it in the middle of the position. Uh, this is a button for reset. Resetting. That means if you want to restart this machine, then you can press the yellow button to restart this machine. And here is the knobs. We have four knobs here. This is the B mode. Press it, then B mode. And rotate it, then you can adjust the game. Uh, this is the C mode. Press C mode. We go to the C mode with the color and rotate it. The game was changed. Once, once back to button, uh, press the button again. Then we back to the B mode. Also, this is the D mode. When you press B mode, C mode, and then B mode, C mode and then D mode then you press 
update, you can get a PW mode here. So we can press B, B mode, back to B. Now for this, this is a venue. Venue, uh, when you see that uh, several parameters on the left of the screen, you can adjust by this knob value. Press it. That means you choose identify the related uh, parameters and rotate it. That means you uh, go to choose the parameters. Like so, let's see. We want to change the depth. Then press it again. When the color of the words become green, then you can rotate it to change the depth. You see, when I rotate it, the depth number, the depth data is changed. And for these buttons, normally, uh, we, when we go to the B mode, we can also uh, like this, slide it down or slide it up to change the depth. Uh, and frequencies. Slide it down, slide it up. And choose the pursuit color. We have 10 Procedure Colors options. Mm. And for this button here, it is always used with the PW model. B, C, C, D, and Update. We only use the baseline to change the baseline to get better PW. Also, the uh, sample value here to get the best uh, blood flow to have the perfect PW mode. So, Besides the B mode, C mode, D mode, or B plus C plus D mode, we also have a BB. BB, you see. BB mode means that. Uh, B mode, let's try again. B mode, when you press 1, so this is the, the B mode is active. When you, you double press the B mode, we have a two B mode. This B mode is a frozen and this B mode is active. So let's back to B mode. We also have a BM mode. Press BM mode, we get the BM mode. And let's back to B mode. We have a PDI mode. PDI mode is normally used to be um, assistance mode for C mode or D mode. Like this is the C mode. Let's say press PDI, then you can see differences PDI mode. And uh, this one is uh, Let's go back to B mode. For this button is a freeze. When you want to save an image or do other things, then you have to, uh, once you get the good image quality, then you press freeze. freeze. And then you see that is a save. Press save, the image will be saved. And look, this is a scene, scene local is uh, um, used to when you want to make a video for a patient and then you want to replay the video then you press C 
now you see the scene when you press scene that is a make a video here and you can press scene to stop the video or pause the video so now let's back to this is the B mode and you see here this is a point point to uh, when you press the point it means you want to active the cursor look point now the cursor cursor is out also you want to hide the cursor then press point again now no cursor no arrow uh, this is a measure uh, when the picture is phrased then you press the measure then you go to the um, patient process press set press set okay so now you can see the next is clear clear button press clear then the record is cleared also here this is a test text means that you want to do a record by the words on the image you put some words here and then you want to move it somewhere by set look this is a set also you can move it and anywhere by press the set again so but if you want to clear the set, the, the words or the records, we can press the clear again. So uh, this is the buttons function here. And let's see here. You can see this is a, a demo. This is a print. Press print. You can create a new patient. Uh, input everything here, name, age, sex, weight, exam part, exam date, date, and everything. Let's say name. Mm. Okay. So we press that. And this is a, a bookmark. So you need to print this and bookmark. So we can choose the bookmark. Uh, let's say this one. We press set here. So if we want to identify a uh, exact part by the red arrow, we need to activate by press set. By press set. Now move the trackball to change the directions and then press set so it is fixed also maybe you want to uh, move the arrow red arrow to some somewhere then you press set and you can move it anywhere also double press set fixed so this is the body mark. Also, you want to clear the body mark then by press body mark. Body mark. Mm, this is the the report. So if you want to make a report or uh, entity report or print a report, uh, we can press the report to go to the re reports. So let's exist. And See, this is a probe. For this machine, they have two probes. We can press probe to choose the right probe, right uh, report, right exam part. Let's say anything, thyroid or carotid. And you see. And this is a 3D, 4D. 3D, 4D means that when you, when the machine is collecting a 3D probe, then this machine is active. 
Also, for this, this is invert. Invert is used to change the color of the blood. Look, this is the uh, blue and the yellow. When you press the the invert, then you can see the position of the um, the yellow is changed. Let's start to use this machine. Mm, for a clinic or a uh, hospital, the doctor may need to do the system settings at first when they get the machine. Uh, we move the point, and you see there is option press set, and. You see, this is the hospital information. You need to fulfill all of the hospital information that you want to show it on the report. Let's say hospital name, input, and tell number. Also, there are many doctor lists, then you can add doctor. This is very useful for you to improve your e efficiency to make a report. Exam with that, maybe for uh, something, um, maybe the same disease, diseases, you can have the result. You can add the, uh, you, you can add the same sentences here and the trace then set all of the information that we just uh, filled will be shoot on the report now you can see hospital uh, the lamb the female the lamb the prop the exact type the name because uh, at the beginning we just uh, create one patient here so the name is FGFGH uh, we can also create a new patient by press, present, pressing the print let's name it mm. yeah, H the carotid okay. The exam part you can choose or the the exam date, the bed, that the number. Press set. So you can see the patient lane NMD female thirty five is coming out. Also mm, we can report exist. When you first get this machine, then you press print or press report. You will and to create the patient, but after you use this machine, after you use this machine twice or several times, then you own this uh, when you press report, so it enter into the report. You also have uh, uh, this way to create a new patient. Uh, press set. At option a pointer and move the trigger to get you see there is a little pad means a little patient press set now you can fulfill all of the information here and press set so this is another one without name female anything let's create a patient for our following operation.
is that depth h fifty four in the carotid and the press set. So now we enter into the scanning mode of this patient that female fifty four and So we use the, uh, of course, we have to choose the probos to get the carotid and then use this linear probe and add in some chair. I guess doctors will be know uh, where is the heritage. They need to feel the heritage at first and then put the linear probe surfaces in this way. When it's in this way, then you can get the images like this one. This is a corridor. Cori and if you uh, want to get a, a vertically put it in the carotid position with in the uh, vertically direction then you can get this one this is uh, the uh, vertically image So this is the B mode. So if you think on um, this image is the one that you want. Then you can press freeze here and press save it. Now you can see the image is saved onto the patient of that. Also, maybe you want to make a video of the carotid on the patient. Then we can go to make a video. That is a two way. Uh, press point to active the course. You can see there is a record and press set. Now you can see. The video is be uh, making record is three hundred phrase. Now we can sync save, press sync save or print here. Press sync save. Now it is a setting success save. So you can see the video is coming out here. So if you want to see, you can just press it. Now it's we play we play the video. You also can um, pause it at any any time or double up, uh, press the set again to replay the video. Also, you can use the sync button to uh, pause it or replay it. So, um, let's have a summary about make a video. First, sync loop. This is sync loop, sync save. First, we go to B mode and we press record to make a video, start making the video and press C, scene save. So the video is saved on the patient of the, on the patient file, then you press save. Now you have another video.
also maybe when you scanning the body you want to make a, a very good uh, image or then you can change a uh, uh, trust the parameters and let's say maybe you want to um, reduce the depth so we go to the depth depth is green and then you can rotate it so you can feel the distance also maybe you want to change the frequencies then you can press the value and rotate it to identify the frequency and to press the value again to have the frequency then rotate it to change the frequency status yeah, you see when you the frequency this is a 10 oh, 11 12 13 also frequency you can uh, you can click it up and down of the frequencies this is frequencies to change the data and also the depth so so anyway you can use all of the parameters to have the uh, have your ideal image quality now let's press save so the picture is saved and maybe we need to make some measurement first you have to freeze uh, let's say freeze it okay let's see the measurement we have press measurement then you can see distance we use circle ellipse uh, trees and we can do area volume angle so many measurements also if we use the convex, convex probe we can do obstetric and um, let's say steroid part measurement we use the let's say we do distance press set and now the distance is come out also maybe we want to use the area press set Yes, press set to fix the position and move the checkboard to enlarge or smaller the circle. And then press set. So we can save it. Also, we can uh, make a text here. Let's see. And then press set and we can move it here press set so let's save it now we get the good image or maybe the video and also the measurement data we go to make a report press report press report we go to find the patient you see that uh, from this register you can find all of the patient data here this is the uh, patient that you have done today but if you want to find the uh, yes find the yesterday or the day before yesterday you can choose it from here in two days, in three days, in four days, in five days. Then you can get it all. When we go to the register page, 
then um, we can see there are four buttons to save, cancel, exam, and report. First, you can we can choose one record of, of patient. Let's say this one. Uh, we want to add or move some information. Then we go to choose choose it save set by set and input let's say h seven and then we press save now you can see this record the wet is h seven also when you input the information let's say on uh, this one maybe this is wrong then you can press cancel so see this information is removed or the name the same maybe uh, you input it by mistake you want to cancel it then pre press cancel the information is removed so the exam when you find the related patient then you press exam so you back to the exam look this is the name and um, okay so you can follow the exam or um, do measurement let's go to report and so if we want to make report uh, choose the patient first and by set and press report here so import input the sentences also the information here for here there is a model you see Fig one, fig two, fig three, fig four, fig six. That means in your report, you can choose one picture and words, or two pictures and words. And fig three means three pictures and words, four pictures and words, six pictures and words. If this is only fig one, that means only picture, no words. So we can see here for this patient, we, there are three pictures available. But if you want just two pictures, then you need to choose figure two and choose it first or maybe third two pictures and the doctors. So you can see at the beginning we met the system and sent him by add doctors you can choose this one or two let's choose one doctors and uh, now we go to preview so you can see two pictures and the descriptions back to the report again press this button by set back to the report also maybe you want to see three pictures then you have to choose three pictures and press save don't forget the save button press save and preview so three pictures and now back to the report again we want to maybe only one picture then press only one picture and choose only one then you need to delete the other two only one then press save and preview just the one picture okay back to the reporting I for these pictures, you also can press cancel. You see, this is a picture. Maybe you want to fill. So here, 
If you want to fix the image to your um, new disk, then we can go cancel to choose the two USB. First, of course, you have to connect the USB disk in the um, connect to that USB port to USB, or you may delete it. So we go to the C. Here you see there is a JPG. You press JPG, that means this report is saved in the formal format eJPG. Press save. And now we go to the Windows and the D button to enter the PC system and go to the NOC disk D and patient D and press report go to today's file 22th June and you can see this report this one This one or this one? No, sorry, this one. See, this image, this report is saved under the file. And This JPG is a button to save the report inside the computer. This one is, uh, if this machine is collecting a printer, press this button. That means you can print the report out. And this one is back to the report. Now we go to the history. history. You can see the query, the open, the export, the delete, the exam. So let's say query. So maybe you have used this machine, use this machine for many, many days. One day one patient come, uh, come and ask to oh, make a report again, print, ask the key the report again. Then we have to query this one. So first we need to no, the date, the scanning date, let's say today, and also the name. Um, for us, we have to do the, the name. What we have done before? The name may be MMB. We go to history, history, and we write it MMB, and we press query. Then you see this M and B is out. And we want to see the report open it. This is report and preview the report out. Go to this one. This is report open. And maybe we want to uh, save the report, then export the report to the computer. You press export. Now let's see if we shifted M and B, Windows and D at the same time. Then press D and uh, this one. And report M and B. We see. Now see, this is the M and B. Okay, so if we want to delete it, let's say all the patient. We want to delete this patient. We go to delete it. Then they will ask you to delete it or not. We say no, keep it. 
And we want to do more exam of this patient, then we go to exam. So first you need to choose it. When the color turn it blue, then press exam. So we do press it. And that's all the information about to how to make a uh, how to get a uh, image and how to make a measurement and how to make a report also save the report save the image or delete image or delete report so that's all the information <laughs>